Cell Pack, your one stop shopping for rubber and plastic materials. Today we'll be making a rubber latex mold. Uh, this will be out of our RL451 high solids latex. Uh, this has got no ammonia odor. Uh, we are going to take the stone which is a pyrographic and make a ring around it which will recreate an outer flange of rubber. Now we will take the latex with a chip brush and begin brushing in one direction. Latex rubber must dry in between coats uh, typically three coats a day can be applied to the object in very hot weather up to eight coats can be applied. You will notice the material is put on very thin. You do not want to put it on too heavy because a heavy collected area may not dry in between layers which will produce a mold that will rip apart later. We can also take uh, as we're doing the different layers and brush in different directions, up and down, side to side. In between brushings, you can put it in a plastic bag in the latex for storage so you can reuse the chip brush. Over the days, we've created the full rubber mold, and now we have a finished piece that is 15 layers thick. The non-white, yellowish look tells it it is dry. That's the time you want to go over with your mother mold material. We are now going to make a mother mold using plaster bandages. They are pre-cut, soaked in a little bit of water, then applied to the back of the surface. Plaster bandages are used to create a lightweight shaping mother mold for the final rubber mold. We are rinsing out the water so we don't have a real wet gauze bandage with plaster. And then we can start laying them in opposite directions like you did on the latex to create a better strength and matrix. About three layers of bandages will be applied for the proper thickness. You could also, if desired, mix up a little bit of casting plaster and put a quarter inch over the back to thicken it even more. Latex is a rubber material meant for casting plaster and cement only. Some people do also make mother molds out of fiberglass, uh, which we would put a little wax or a mold release as we are laying up our fiberglass. We are now putting some even diagonally, again, creates the uh, matrix. And then you can go back and smooth it all out, uh, brushing in the plaster over the edges of the plaster bandages. Uh, a hair dryer here is used just to further along a slightly damp. We will gently pull the mother mold off. As you see, harden to the shape of the latex and now we will remove the latex gently you know pulling up and away from the master as you will see that we got a little bit of the rubber sticking back to itself so I'm powdering it with a little calcium carbonate our CC200 talcum powder can also be used this will keep the freshly dried latex rubber from sticking to itself. So again, once again, start pulling it up gently from the edges outward. Pulling it off not to rip the freshly made rubber mold.
especially if you use less coats than 15. Again, dust the inside of the mold, shake it off into the trash, and now you have a mold and the master. And here's a piece that we created with UltraCal 30 from the original. Thank you for joining us at Silpak.